standing up for this one. Why am I standing up for this one? Because I'm passionate. Let's go. All right, I was inspired to do this video because I just sat down on my computer not too long ago and I added two new products to my Amazon store. And I realized I haven't added any new products to my Amazon store in about two months. The last product prior to these two that I added was a product that I purchased for 75% off. The two products that I just added are 70% plus profit margin. Most people that come to this channel are not really checking for Amazon material, but that leads me to why I was inspired to make this video. So I just mentioned I was on a computer adding some products because I haven't done so in a while. So not only was I sitting on my computer adding new products to my inventory to make money, I realized there are a lot of people out here who want to sell on Amazon, not even just sell on Amazon. There's a lot of people who want multiple streams of income. They just want to add another stream of income. Usually what grabs their attention is social media ads. You see TikTok, Instagram reels, showing how you could just go in the store, pick up something, and then sell it on Amazon and make some money. So my sister, she hits me up. She says, you know what? I think I'm ready to sell on Amazon. I want you to show me how to sell on Amazon. She comes over, she breaks by uh, day sober. And, I'm, and I basically just come out and say, I said, look, you do not really want to sell on Amazon. She's like, yes, I do. I'm like, Amazon takes time. Time is the biggest thing. And I'm like, you don't have time to be researching products to sell on Amazon. Like, let's be honest. If you do, I'm more than happy to walk you through it real quick. I'm gonna run off some things to y'all that I feel like is important for y'all to know in order to get started or before you get started. Or if you already got started, you're really not sure what you're doing. This is not no, no particular order. Time, it takes time to research products. Most of you do not wanna put in the time to research products that are profit. That's number one. The other big part about just being able to walk in stores and pick up items and then flip them, whether you getting them off clearance or just discounts or using coupons, rewards, whatever you're doing, you actually have to be permitted to sell on Amazon. There's a term called gated and ungated. You're gated, meaning basically you just need permission to sell particular brands on Amazon. Because we don't own these brands unless you're doing private label. That's not for every product, but for a lot of products. All right, so I mentioned profit margin. We're in this to make money. If you're not properly doing your homework, spending the time, then you're not going to be able to find products that are profit. Typically, you wanna look for products that are 30% or more profit margin. 30% or more is usually worth your time. You gotta remember, either you're going out to the stores and getting these items, or you're getting these items from online delivered to your home. There, you have to figure out which way you wanna do it and which way is most profitable to your bottom line. Profits are huge. But how can you figure out a quicker way to decipher what type of products are worth your time to sell? It's a couple ways. The best seller rank helps you determine how quickly the product that you identify as profitable is going to be able to sell. So it's not really up to you. Are you able to sit on a product and wait, you know, a few weeks to get your profits back? Or is this something that you want to flip fast. The best seller rank is the way that you determine how quickly you may be able to sell that product. My number one trick is looking at how many sellers are selling that product. Not only, I, I, let me take that back. You want to find out how many sellers are on that listing. Forget the product. You can have numerous listings for the same exact product and certain listings sell better than others. So one of my determinative factors as to how, what listing I'm gonna jump on is how many sellers are on the list. I like listings that have less than five sellers on. Less than five sellers has been money for me. Money in my pocket. If you can find a good listing, a good product that has less than five sellers on it, you got a winner. I'm telling you, less than five sellers, you got you a winner if it's a good product. To be honest with you, there if there are if you hop on a listing that has more than 15 people selling on that listing, I'm not telling you it's not going to sell, but you're going to be waiting for a long time and there's a good chance that the price of that listing is going to drop because you got so many people competing for sale that they're going everybody is going to start at one price and they're going to bring that price down so they can undercut the other seller and so forth and so that's called price tanking. That's how 
your profitable product goes to a product you can't even sell anymore because too many people jumped on the listings competing for sales. That is a red flag. I wouldn't do it, but you could do what you want with your money. Now, a few of the last things really is based off of your risk. What you want to do also, if you're just getting started and you're unsure, not even unsure, because you really want to test products out. Buy a couple, list it, see how fast it sells, and get used to the process. Shipping your product into Amazon if you want to do FBA, or buying supplies and going through the process of shipping it yourself if you want to do FBM. So just buy a couple, get used to the process, get that good feeling of making the sale, and then double back. And then do the same thing with any other product that you want to test out that might be in a different genre. Now, with all that, you got to be willing to make some type of mistakes and lose some money. I have some stories I could tell about my first, my, my literally my first shipment into Amazon got lost. If you want to know more about that, man, type more in the comments. It was crazy. Don't expect to just come in, be profitable off the bat, not have any L's. That's unrealistic, but learn from your losses and you'll be straight if you continue. Decide whether you want to do FBA, which is just finding your products, sending them into Amazon, and then let Amazon handle the shipment, customer service, all that good stuff. There are a, a few more fees involved with that. Or FBM, where it is you are the merchant, stands for fulfilled by merchant. And when an order comes in, you just go into your back office, you print out the print, the uh, packing slip, you package it up, you take it to the post office or UPS, and that's it. I'll be honest, I have maybe three more videos I'm gonna make about Amazon. And that might be it. Yeah, man, that was it, man. I just wanted to like share a few things for anybody who's interested in learning about Amazon, if they're considering it, if they think it's something they wanna do but not sure. I just wanna give y'all a couple things to think about. I feel like this is a good avenue to make money if you're serious about it. I'm gonna continue to sell and make money on Amazon because that's what I do. Once I find a, a stream of, of revenue that works for me, that's that's in the playbook now. So I'm gonna be doing this until Amazon says you can't do it anymore. All right, well that's a wrap.